want to hear you. more about your fashion. So I know jeans um, oh, yes. are huge for you. Oh, yes. I love jeans. So let's talk about jeans. What are some of your favorite jeans and, and the looks that you like? Right now, I'm obsessed with high waisted. Okay. You can eat as much as you like. Yes. And, still and you great. still are good. Yeah. Still look great. You can actually get away with a crop top, yes. like without working out. Right. Because it's, just it's a high waisted. Um, Afraid Him is okay. great. Um, the boyfriend jean, I feel is definitely have. here to stay. Okay. Um, I still love a skinny jean. Okay. I have the occasional bohemian moment with a mm. big flare. It's just mm. fun. Mm -hmm. Like, especially for the summer. Yes. and. Um, I'm trying to think of like brands like Zara always has great jeans. H and M. These are actually from H and M. Mm -hmm. uh, three times one. I mm -hmm. love mm -hmm. um, frame girlfriend jeans. Okay. They're actually my favorite right now. Okay. And they come like you can get them distressed. The yeah, Carolina. Yeah, distress. That's yeah. really yeah. in right. Distress is huge. Okay. Like, even in jean jackets, like jean dresses, like uh, denim right now is a crazy like, like a trend in terms of not just bottoms like denim jackets, jackets. Okay. detail to denim jackets mm. Zara has a really cute denim jacket that has a ruffle like on the sleeve mm. it's so cute. so cute um the jacket in my on my post with the denim and leather that jackets from Zara is $49 I saw that yeah. yeah so you are mixing the denim with the leather, with the leather. that's really good because you get to see you know the different options yes. that you have available so yes. now what about children like I, I know with kids you know they do get dirty but how do you keep them looking you know cute so you, two years ago mm. I had to say so <laughs> <laughs> now I do not but I just believe believe in giving them yeah. the resources and just letting the chips fall yes, where they may. Yes, letting them do their thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let them make those decisions. Yes, absolutely. Um, I mean, there are days like today, like I feel like to someone, what Clark had, he had a navy blue camouflage uh, sweater mm -hmm. and then gray and black uh, drop crotch sweatpants. Mm. And to someone, it, they may not think it looked, but I thought it was so mm -hmm. cute together. It was mm -hmm. kind of like, oh, I like that. Yes, car. and but, he did it all and he his did own. It all himself, yeah. That's but good. then there are days where Stone, like it was. And Stone last, is your four year old, four -year -old and Clark is yes, your five year old. Five year old. Mm -hmm. Stone had on wool knee socks, so we're actually a socks for skiing, so they're 100% okay. wool. Okay. <laughs> with. <laughs> Like camouflage green shorts and a Bulls jersey, and I thought, wow, so <laughs> not wouldn't have been my choice, right. but you know, it goes to what fashion is for me. It's a form of self-expression, and I want mm -hmm. them to be able to have that for themselves. Um, but I do have a rule where they have to wear a collared shirt twice a week. Okay, now why do you have that rule? Because I just want them to always be gentlemen in training. I love that, and they need to know the importance of being able to look presentable yes. and for specific occasions you have to look presentable mm -hmm. um, and for it to not be a shock to their system when they're 13. <laughs> when they have to. When they have to, yes, yes exactly. it can't always be about the t-shirts. Yes, yes, exactly. And their college shirt may be with sweatpants, yes, but, but that's okay. The They've got the shirt twice a week. I like that. I like that. And skinny jeans. I think yes. skinny jeans are so cute on boys. Oh. Like, Boys and men, Boy, or yeah, and men also. You know, okay. my husbands aren't as skinny okay. as Clark and Stones are, okay. um, but they are definitely like a, a close fitted leg. Okay. Um, my husband does like casual really well. Mm -hmm. When we met, he was mm -hmm. a suit and tie man, mm -hmm. and um, now with his company, he has to be more casual. Okay. Um, so he dresses a lot like in a monochromatic mm -hmm. uh, style. Like mm -hmm. if he's wearing a gray shirt, he wears gray pants. Okay. Like that works for him. And he he's also narrowed down like the colors that work for him, and mm -hmm. he stays within that range. Okay. It tends to be like grays, blues, pinks, purples. Okay. Like they really work for him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So just finding your own style that matches who you are. Oh, exactly. Right. Yes. Okay. And, and you can't get too into trends because, mm -hmm. um, for example, what's a trend right now? Like the pom-poms. Like oh. they're like pom-pom shirts, pom-pom yes. bags. But if that's not you, don't mm -hmm. buy it just because it's in right mm -hmm. now. Like, you know, with trends, you want to buy things that you will wear mm -hmm. beyond the time of that trend. Because you like it. Because you like and it. And not because exactly. everybody's telling you to go get it. it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So what are some staple pieces that women should have in their closet? A great handbag. Okay. I feel a great bag can take you anywhere mm -hmm. and a great bag will be timeless. Mm -hmm. I have um, some bags in my uh, closet that I've had for years. Really? Um, 
and, and they're all, I, I love things that are different. Mm -hmm. So they're never like just plain, mm -hmm. um, because anyone could do plain, right. but you want to have fun. Yeah, some like, kind of, yeah. you know, funky too, you yes, know, exactly. funk appeal to yeah. it. So Zara has great bags. Mm -hmm. Rebecca Minkoff has amazing bags. They do, yeah. Um, and also, you know, another tip is to uh, make sure you're following my Instagram or mm -hmm. my Facebook mm -hmm. or my blog site, because I also let you in on the stores that are having like really good deals. Like Rebecca Meekoff had a sample sale that mm -hmm. was up to 80% off oh, and God. I was able to share that with my followers. Mm -hmm. um, Felt Chicago just recently had a sample sale up to 80% off and you can get great things at great deals. Such great deals at those prices. Yes, so yes. You, you can go to some of the more expensive oh, stores, but absolutely. just go when there's a sale yes. or some kind of discount yes. going so you could still have those nice outfits. Yes, yes. That's fantastic. Now, what about um, your boys? Where do you shop for them? Um, I shop, um, there's a local designer, Lola and the Boys. Um, it's for girls, boys, and moms, actually. Mm -hmm. um, so the outfit on my blog with the three of us with the matching jackets. Yes, yeah, so That cute. was Lola and the Boys. Zara, H&M. There's a kids clothing line called La Miniatura. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge Project Runway junkie, mm -hmm. and Jeffrey was the very first winner mm -hmm. of Project Runway, and he started this kids line. They have the cutest, cutest stuff. Um, it is a little expensive, so mm -hmm. I typically buy it when it's on guilt.com okay. or 6pm.com. Oh, very good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you can get it at that lower price. Yes. Oh, absolutely. I've gotten like Jeans for them for nineteen dollars. It regularly been eighty dollars. Oh my gosh. Like yeah. Okay, so you're yeah. you're very smart with your shopping yes, too. Yes. So I try to be. Yeah. I mean, I have the occasional. I can't believe I bought that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have had those yes, moments, yes. yeah. But for the most, uh, for the most, I try to be like a what is the word? Like a conscious consumer. Okay. Like, yeah. Okay, that's good. Yes. Now you know a trend going on right now is the male romper. What do you think about? I have to know from you because is it good or bad? Would you? I think it's bad. Okay. I okay. Think it is one hundred percent. Okay, wrong. good. So if your husband came home in a male romper, oh, no, no. you would not be happy. No, no, no. Okay. No, I, I don't even think I would find the words to express <laughs> right. what I would have to say if he came in. What would he know. be like, doing? I'm like, yeah, I don't even know like who created that or why. I don't know. I don't know. But it's like the rage right now. Yeah. It's all over social media. So I had to know your thoughts on that. Oh my gosh. Now, what if somebody's listening to the show and they're like, you know, I really want to just improve my fashion, but I just don't know how or what looks good. Do you offer personal consultation? Yes, absolutely. You do? Yes. So how could someone reach out and, and um, connect with you? They can find me on Instagram okay. or uh, Cita at Clarkenstone.com, okay. um, which is my email address. Um, it's always a great way to catch me and I have people like email me for potential collaborations or just to ask a question. Like, so that's def Instagram has like a direct message component yes. where you can sit. It's like an email via Instagram um, that you can contact me at as well. That's great. That's great. Because I know some people that would love to work with you. <laughs> just, oh, bring it on. I don't know how to do it. So that's good that you put it out there. I love that. Yes, I love yes. that. I mean, part of starting the blog is I am a social person. Mm -hmm. I love getting to know people. I just like to know everyone's story. Like there's there's more to like the, that beautiful smile on yeah. someone. You really, I just really like to get in there and get to know someone. Because everybody has a story. Yes, so it's everyone, yes. really good to just connect with yes. people. So if somebody does want to meet you, how do they, are they, do you have any events coming up? Um, I actually had one two weeks ago at uh, Sonador Boutique, which oh, yeah. just opened in the West Loop. Um, but I'm always posting on my Instagram page okay. what I have going on. Okay. Or my Insta stories, which is like Snapchat yes. or Instagram. Yes, I post tons of things on there. And on my actual Instagram page, my Facebook, um, Clark and Stone page, um, so that I can stay, you know, in contact with my followers and getting to know and meet new people. Well, you're, you're very connected because I've seen you on Instagram where you are responding to people yes, and really absolutely. giving them feedback. So you're not just this distant fashion blogger. Yeah, well, you know, Instagram is all about engagement. And I feel like I wouldn't have the numbers mm -hmm. so quickly if mm -hmm. I wasn't engaging. And just like, I mean, it's all fashion is all inspiration Absolutely. and I'm learning from fellow bloggers. And so I feel like they're my teachers and hopefully I'm someone just, just I'm their teacher and it's just, it's just a learning process. Like that's fantastic. Yes. That's fantastic. Sita. Well, do you have any final pointers for our audience? Any fashion tips or any summer trends that you think we all need to hop on because it's, it's almost here. It is. It's, 
the meal like everyone okay. has to have a meal mm -hmm. like it's it's just a comfortable shoe mm -hmm. um just always stay true to yourself like what's comfortable for you mm -hmm. is what's for you like don't jump on every trend just because it's a trend. You have to stay true to yourself with your fashion. Now, what about, I want to point out your earrings and your necklaces, because so simple, but very beautiful. What are you, are you a gold or silver? I'm a gold. Gold, okay. <laughs> Although the sweater has so much. Yes, but, yes. I know. These earrings are Lana jewelry, which okay. um, I feel like if you want an investment piece for mm -hmm. jewelry, like, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's timeless, and it's just dainty, and it's mm -hmm. fun, and... I love it. So yeah, and she has like tons of different earrings, mm -hmm. um, necklaces, rings. So yeah. Wonderful. Well, Sita, thank you so much for being here today. I feel like you have so much to offer. I'm so glad fear did not get in your way and that you were able to move forward because you are doing big things in the city of Chicago and globally because people are following you, right? From yes, all over the yes, world. Yes, right. It's so weird to see. <laughs> so like, I have followers from like Austria or London. It's like I've become really like like connected to a blogger in London, it's corporate style story. And she's a mom and we just like hit it off. And Fantastic. so yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun and you're enjoying yourself. And I love that, I really do. Thank so you. Everybody, please follow Sita. She's fantastic. She's moving forward and having a good time with it. So remember what she said, don't let. Don't lose in your own fantasy. Don't lose in your own <laughs> fantasy because that is the key. You don't want to have a double bad day. So <laughs> thanks everyone for tuning in to another episode of the Gift of Gab Show. Don't forget to follow me at giftofgabshow.com and you'll see all the stories that we have to share. Until next time, have fun, enjoy fashion, and just express yourself for who you are. Take care, everybody. Puerto Rico, say the word and we go. You can be my flicker, girl. I'll be a flicker, mama.